So I just got a new camera and I thought what better way to test everything with it, especially the autofocus, other than just sending it through a daily vlog. Got several tasks we need to do today. Anybody else make goofy faces when they're backing? I almost think it's a necessity. We've reached the time in the year, especially in Tennessee, when somebody's always gonna overuse the phrase, it ain't the heat that'll get you, it's the humidity. Well, there is some truth to that. Just pulling into the dump here. Saturday mornings at the dump, you usually see a lot of people who can't drive, park, follow signs, any of, any of those things. Looks like we've caught it at a good time. No other trucks. Thunder's getting some age on her boys. 175K. So after dropping the trash off, I had to come to the church to work on the cameras for the live stream. Uh, went in, it was hot and steamy, and I came out and I don't know if you can see all that rain. It is coming down. So I guess that means I'm not gonna get the rest of the stuff done today. A lot of the stuff I had to do was outside and going to be doing this then I'm not going to be outside <laughs> I did stop at Dollar General though so in true Tennessee fashion the rain stopped actually it was very beautiful for a solid 10 minutes stick around long enough I'll teach you another Tennessee phrase if you don't like the weather just wait five minutes and it'll change so there's a break in the weather that's essentially all that I'm ranting and raving about here right now is there is a break in the weather I'm going to go change these batteries out on the trail cameras uh, install this new trail camera all before that nastiness hits. It's also a really good test for the Ibis. Of course, I believe Panasonic does have some of the best Ibis, uh, actually the best Ibis. Checking the spy point out here. Never used a spy point camera before. You can hear and see this storm right behind me. It's coming. We've already got the weather alert. It says it's gonna have possible hail, uh, up to 60 mile an hour gust, so it is coming. Thankfully, I got everything finished before it came. A little bit bummed though, because I have had the same trail cameras out for quite a while, so maybe I shouldn't be. I've certainly got my money's worth from them, but it's always still a bummer when one of them drops off as far as uh, I've got one that for whatever reason, I just changed the batteries on it. It's not turning on. Last month, I had one where the plastic clasp finally broke. So within like this year, I've lost two trail cameras. Thankfully, those two are the exact same brand, same exact model. So in the event that I can't get the first one to turn on, I should be able to swap parts and get one full working uh, trail camera. Spoiler alert, it's a new day. I was actually able to get the trail camera working. It ended up just being as simple as uh, brushing off the contact points on the battery pack. At that point, it allowed it to have a good connection and turned on, who knew? You know something I hate? Buying batteries. I don't know why I hate it. Maybe it's because they're so expensive. Might make a bit more sense if I tell you what I'm talking about. My Kubota Zero Turn, I've had for a few years, uh, is now having to be jumped off, which is obviously a big pain when you go to mow. So I'm having to buy a battery. So now you know. I gotta take the battery off so that I go to O'Reilly's and get the appropriate battery And off to O'Reilly's we go. See how much money we can spend. Am I like totally wrong for hating paying for batteries? Ooh, a little dark. Is it just the fact that they're expensive 
Or is it the fact that we take it for granted that when batteries just work, you don't think about them, they just do their job for a reasonable amount of time in most cases. And then when it doesn't, i.e. when the lawnmower won't start because of the battery, it just adds to the frustration, the fact that you've got to go spend a pretty expensive amount of money for something as simple as a battery. I don't know. Check out my duck though. We made it, boys. So actually, I was pleasantly surprised. Fully expected to pay over $100, get in there, show them the battery I've got, similar cold cranking amps, only ran me $62. Now, that is just for a 12 volt lawnmower battery. Still not cheap. But, Tune in next week when I take in my big tractor battery because it also needs replacing. I'm sure that one will definitely be north of $100.